So hi from my side as well and welcome to the Oracle Code Japan Tour. Um, so my name is Sebastian Daschner. I'm here together with uh, Stephen Chin, the director of Oracle Technology Network and the Java Community Manager. And today you had another guest who is uh, joining us for today, Yuichi Sakuraba. So thank you very much for your presentation, um, Yuichi. And yet, uh, just a uh, quick intro to our tour that we're doing in Japan before I start with my talk. So, about the Java community. The Java community is pretty big. We have over 300 of Java user groups. We have 10 million Java developers worldwide. Who in this room is a Java developer? All of you should raise their hands. So you're part of 10 million. That's great. And we have um, almost 200 Java champions right now. Who in this room is a Java champion? No, oh, you don't count anymore. Sorry. Yes, and Yuichi is one of the two Java champions of Japan. Who knows who is the second Java cham Japanese Java champion? Mr. Terada, yeah, Yuichi, uh, Yoshi Terada-san, very good. And maybe we can increase that number. So w we think we should have more Japanese Java champions. At least three, okay. Who agrees? Yeah, no, maybe? Yuichi says yes, okay, great. <laughs> exactly. And a lot of people also uh, contribute to the JCP, the Java community process, by evolving the Java platform. Who is part of the JCP in this room? Oh, this should be... Who knows what the JCP is? Oh. I need to explain. More people need to know about this. Okay, the way how uh, Java evolves, um, we have so-called JSRs, Java Specification Requests. They are the standards that form the parts of the Java platform. And if you want to have a new technology as a Java standard, then you can submit a new JSR, and then features will evolve. This is, for example, how Java EE is formed. There is a JSR for each and every part of Java Enterprise. There's even an umbrella meter specification part for the Java EE umbrella that specified which is part of Java EE. There is one for JAXRS, for JSONP, for CDI, and so on and so forth. And this is a very nice way to contribute to the Java community because, first of all, you can tell what the future of Java should be so you can take part in navigating the course of the Java platform. You can up to a certain degree define what should be in the Java platform. And also as a developer you see what will be there tomorrow. You just heard a talk about Java 9, although Java 9 is not even there, but this is another good example of why Java is a good open way how to evolve the platform. Right? You can today learn what will be there in a couple of months. The same is true for Java EE. Java EE 8 is currently being formed. I am um, part of two expert groups, JAXRS and JSONP, and it's very interesting to see what will be there in the future. And also you have an advantage as a developer, because once it is final, then you already know how to use it. You don't have to start learning then, you already learn right now as you can participate in the way how it is transfer uh, how it is evolved today so this is a very nice and open way how the java platform is evolved and you can participate by joining the jcp the java community process so i encourage everybody to look at the jcp you don't even have to join if you don't want but at least participate even if you're not a member you can provide feedback and this is a very good example of participating. You look at the standard of the current draft versions that are already out there and you try them out. 
you look at the API and you think, hmm, does this make sense? Because now it can be changed. Once it is final, it is fixed. Nothing can change anymore. And then you're not allowed to, to complain if the API is bad because you could have participated today. And you can provide feedback. Even if you're not a member, the expert groups are very happy to hear feedback because they don't know if it's a good version once it's uh, final in a couple of months. But the more feedback we, uh, we receive, the better it is because then the more certain we are that the API we specify is a good one. So I encourage everybody to participate in this. And to the Java community, we have a lot of uh, Java user groups. Who is part of a Java user group? <laughs> you are here at the Hi Hiroshima uh, Jack, so all of you should raise their hands. You're all part of the Jack event today. So this is a very nice way of um, contributing. Yeah, then all over the year we have really nice and fun events. This, for example, was the community keynote as last one's Java 1. We had a Star Wars theme. Who saw the community keynote? There is a recording available if you're interested in, in the Star Wars theme. <laughs> And we have a lot of conferences and unconferences. This, for example, was um, the JFocus unconference after the JFocus conference. Um, we went to, um, there you can see me doing a snowball fight. Um, we went to the middle of nowhere in Sweden to a place store uh, called Store Hunger and, well, had some fun. A few guys tried skiing and we had a really nice and enjoyable time there. And of course, talking about technology, philosophizing about Java. Oh, this is another unconference. It's a little bit warmer. This is called J Crete, conference in the island of uh, Crete in uh, Greek, uh, Greece. A little bit warmer, but similar idea. You philosophize about Java and you're having a nice time in a relaxed atmosphere. And Steve and I last year thought, hmm, what about the Java Unconference in Japan? Because you have beautiful landscapes, a beautiful countryside, and relaxed atmosphere, and nice people. So why not do a Java Unconference here? So this is what we did. We created Jay Onsen, which is the most relaxing unconference, what we call it. So you see Duke is having a really relaxed time at an onsen, at a hot spring, enjoying himself, talking about uh, Java, participating, philosophizing. We had really great two and a half days. It's two, y uh, two weeks ago, we went to the beautiful Itsu Peninsula, not far from Tokyo, uh, to Shimoda and uh, visited an onsen there. Sakurawa-san also was part of it, and Ito-san as well. Um, we had a great, uh, great time, and I think all of the attendees enjoyed it. Of course, we enjoyed the Japanese cuisine. We had great sashimi, s uh, great sushi, and everything um, the Japanese kitchen can, can offer. And also you have some time that is not only uh, related to Java, right? So we visited the aquarium in uh, Shimoda, it was uh, really interesting to see. We had a, a great um, dolphin show. It was pretty impressive what these beautiful animals uh, can, can do and swim and, uh, and spring. <laughs> and yeah, I think everybody had a great time there. So I want to encourage you, because this was such a great event, we want to do it again next year. So if you would like to join Jay Onsen, the unconference, uh, as uh, Duke is enjoying it. I encourage you to visit the website jayonsen.jp. We have a registration form up there. This is not the final registration, but you can register for a newsletter so that you know when for next year the registration opens. And if you would uh, like to participate in an unconference 
And this is, I think, the first un Java unconference in Japan. So for you, it's easy to, to travel there. If you would like to participate there and talk about Java, talk about the Japanese Java community or IT in general, then I very highly welcome and um, encourage you to do so. So visit um, jonsen.jp and follow the jonsen unconf Twitter handle and you can relax as and join Duke in jonsen. So thank you very much for your attendance, attention. And then I think we don't need a short break. We just continue with Java EE. Mm-hmm.